Have you ever experienced periods in your life when you felt tired and disillusioned about the very things that used to excite you? It could be a marriage, a job, or your relationship with God. The daily grind of life can sap energy from your soul, mind, and emotions, leaving you depleted. Anything that expends energy needs to be recharged. Recharge your life with this exciting book by Kakrabaden, Energy Drink. It will keep you fired up to face each day with faith, hope, and love. You can order this book through the following means. Place your order on Facebook by posting Order Energy Drink in the comment section or message window. This book is also available as an ebook on Amazon Kindle or Kobo.com. We also deliver worldwide. This message is brought to you by the friends and partners of Kakra Baden. Welcome to Air Power with Kakra Baden, teaching the nations with signs and wonders. Kakra is the senior pastor of the Catch the Anointing Center, Accra, Ghana. Now, today's message. Hello. Kakra continues his insightful teaching titled Demons and How to Deal with Them. Yesterday, he explained that to overcome negative thoughts, we must filter the information that comes through our minds. Today, he continues. Let's join in. In Job 31 verse 1, he said, I have made a covenant with my eyes. Why should I think upon a maid? In other words, he said, I have made an agreement with my eyes that I will not look at things I am not supposed to look at. Because if I look at things I'm not supposed to look at, it ends up in my heart. And when it ends in my heart, it begins to influence my thoughts. Because out of the heart comes evil thoughts. So people have lost control of their thoughts. Why? Because they don't filter any information. They read anything. They watch anything. They listen to anything. Whatever. Very dangerous. In Proverbs 4.23, the Bible says, keep your heart with all diligence. In other words, protect it. You should protect your heart more than your mouth. You should be more careful about what you hear, what you see, what you read, than the food you eat. But you have turned it. You are more particular about the food. Job said, Does not the ear try words as the mouth tastes food? So it compares the ear with your mouth. Why? Because your ear and your eye they are the mouth of your spirit. Whatever you eat, it goes right into your heart. And from there, it pops up in your mind and then begins to just control you. So for people who are always afraid, thinking that they are going to die, watch what you are hearing. Because there are some pastors, every time they have to say that somebody is going to die. Every time somebody is going to die. Don't open yourself up to negative words. Very important. Proverbs chapter 4 verse 20. Let's read the scripture. My son, attend to my words. Incline thy ear unto my sayings. 21. Let them not depart from your eyes. Keep them in the midst of your heart. For they are life to them that find them and health to all their flesh. 23 says, keep your heart with all diligence. Out of it are the issues of life. Here, the Bible talks about how things enter your heart. Two ways. Says, my son, incline thy ear, which means through your ears. Let them not depart from your eyes. It means through your eyes. Let them not depart from your heart. Finally, it ends up in your heart. Personally, I hardly have evil thoughts. I'm going to die. Something is going to happen. Witches are looking for me. I am cursed. The tractors don't occur to me. Because I filter the information that comes through my eyes and my ears. I have made a covenant with my eyes. Why should I think? Think. That's why I told you I don't listen to worldly music. 
I don't have time for worldly music at all. I am protecting my heart. You know, the way you soak yourself in cool numbers, you sleep with cool numbers the whole night. Jude 1 8, the Bible says, These filthy dreamers, they defile the flesh. In other words, their dreams are a product of what their flesh is indulged in. The books they have been reading, the things they have been watching. Even if I'm watching a movie, there is a, a sex scene. I'll skip it. There is no way I'll watch it. I'll skip it. Why? I'm protecting my heart. I'll watch it. But you have your remote. You press rewind. You say, let me watch so that I use it for instructions. The Bible says the Holy Ghost, he will teach you all things. You want instruction? Pray to the Holy Ghost. You will be jumping like a monkey from tree to tree. You will be surprised. Put the hands in the stand to your feet as we close. Thanks for joining us. Today, we learned that we must be selective about what we see, watch, and hear in order to overcome negative thoughts. Tune in tomorrow as this exciting message continues. Before we go, here's a praise report to boost your faith. I made it! Dear Kakwa, I requested for prayer concerning my law school entrance exams. I wrote last year, but I didn't pass. I was glad when you prayed for me and had faith that this time around, it will turn out for my good. By the grace of God, the results came out and I made it. Indeed, faith works. God bless you and increase you. The message you just heard is available on the Kakwa Baden Air Power app. Download the Kakwa Baden Air Power app on Google Play Store or the App Store. You can contact us, seek counselling, ask for prayer, order today's full-length message or order books through the following means. Call us or message us on WhatsApp to plus 233 55 70 10. Send an email to info at .org. You can also make a regular call or send a text to plus 233 Our office hours are 10 a.m. to 1600 hours GMT. Finally, write to us, share your testimony and how this broadcast has been a blessing to you.